Hey everyone, how's it going? Sam here. And in this video, I want to share with you some of my findings with using Lottie animations along with Tailwind CSS and more specifically Tailwind CSS animations so that we can have a Lottie animation playing, but we can also quickly add interactions like this. So when I'm hovering, it's rotating and actually scaling the Lottie animation. And it's a nice way to add a little bit more interactivity and flair to your animations perhaps uh, by using some really simple Tailwind CSS classes. So I'm going to show you that right now. Heading into our code, I'm using the Lottie files Lottie player. I'm loading up a animation with its path, classes, uh, setting its background to transparent, setting the speed to two because I want it to go a bit faster, looping and autoplay. I will leave the documentation for Lottie Player in the description. Um, and I won't be covering how to get it running in this video because it's quite simple. Um, so getting Tailwind CSS and using their classes for interactions. Here I'm setting its margin, its width. And then here importantly, we're gonna start off by transforming the animation and rotating it with the class rotate six. So this is what it looks like. It's just a bit slanted and we can go into Tailwind CSS, go to rotate and rotate six does a transform and rotates it by six degrees. So that's pretty cool. We can then add a transition. So if you go to Tailwind CSS and you can go to transition and it comes up with easy easing. Um, however, we're going to add a hover. Uh, what happens when we hover? We want it to scale. So here we're gonna use the class scale 105. So when we hover, it's gonna apply the class 105, scale 105, sorry. So here we go. Uh, 105 is here. So that's also gonna transform and scale the element. Then we can set a duration. And this is a, another class which defines how long you want the duration to be. Uh, so this is 700 milliseconds. Uh, you can go up to 1000, so one second. And then you can set your easing. I'm gonna do easy in, easy ease in and out. And I'm also going to rotate it uh, as part of the animation. So I'm gonna hover and rotate six. So just to go over that again, by default, it's transformed and rotated by six degrees. Then we define the transition class. We define what we want to happen when we hover. So it's going to scale it. And this is going to last 700 milliseconds. We add some easing and we're also gonna rotate it six degrees. And if we refresh, with a few Tailwind CSS classes, you can rotate and scale your Lottie animation. So that's pretty cool. There are a few other presets um, that you can use. So here we're going to bounce the animation, which might be useful. Not really useful in this use case, but it might be for you. We've got pulse. and the class animate pulse. So that's pretty cool. Just makes it fades in and fades out. And then we've got animate ping. And this might be good for um, parts of a notification animation, for example. In their YouTube videos, they use it um, for the sort of bell um, icon. But personally, I like our first setup, rotating and scaling on hover. I think that's pretty good looking. There we go. 
So there we go. Quick video on how to get Lottie animations and Tailwind CSS animations up and running in your website. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie animations.